Hello guys, uh, today let's talk about how to solve the nonlinear equation using Newton Raphson method. So this is the algorithm for the Newton Raphson method. First, we need to uh, perform the derivative of the function that we want to find the roof. And then we use this formula hi is the uh, value of the previous uh, x so in the first iteration this hi is the initial value you can put uh, any number and f x is the function the original function and f prime x is the derivative of the uh, the function and h i plus one is the uh, the h that uh, after we perform the iteration so it will change from each iteration one two three and and so on until uh, the solution is satisfied now this is the uh, relative approximate error so you need to calculate this in order to compare the result uh, with uh, i mean to compare this value with the uh, given error uh, so in order that, uh, to to show that the result is acceptable or not so if the uh, the value epsilon a is um, already smaller than the defined error so the solution is satisfied already and the program will break and that's it uh, that's uh, is the roof of the function but if it's not we will go back to the step number two and perform a next iteration so this will repeat again and again until the solution is acceptable now we look at the MATLAB code so I wrote it in the function name Newton or uh, stand for Newton Raphson the first input value is the function and the next input is the derivative on the function the first derivative and x is the initial value of the x and this is the maximum uh, maximum iteration number so you can put more uh, uh, value but in this case i put 50 and esd is the defined error like i said we need to use this to compare with the epsilon a to show that uh, to prove that the solution is satisfied so the smaller this number the good the solution is uh, is for the function uh, this is the number of I mean the first iteration number so we we'll start from zero now uh, the calculation is run in a while loop so first we define the the whole value of x this is uh, the initial value I name it it's all it's all so this will uh, equal to the first value here and this formula is the formula that I show you here so this x is the, the new x and this one is the old x and this is a function and this is derivative of the function this is just to, to calculate how many iteration that we need in order to uh, complete this task. 
So this is the condition. First, if uh, x is not equal to zero, then we can calculate the epsilon a. This is the formula from this. And the condition here is uh, we compare the epsilon a with the defined uh, error in this case 0 0.001 so if the epsilon a is small smaller or equal to the defined value here the program will break and the last value of the x is the solution and also we need to uh, compare the iteration number with the maximum iteration number as well and then we just define the value of the root so root equal to x x is the last value after the uh, last iteration now we show you the example I have uh, defined the example here so the this is the first input and it is the original function and this is the derivative of the function and this is the initial value of x so the result is 0 0.06 Two, four. Now I want to show you uh, uh, if it's uh, correct or not graphically. So I will plot the function here. So first I define x it should start from 0 to 0 0.1 because our x value here is only uh, 0 0.0624. And this is the function. Now we plot this. So from the graph, you can see that uh, the value. This is the value of fx, and if fx zero, it points to uh, something like zero point zero six. So you can see that this value is acceptable. And one more thing, you can uh, uh, put this value in the function to see if the value of y is equal to zero or not, or it, if it's is the close to zero or not. So I can uh, show you. So this is so close to zero. The value here is really uh, small. Well, I think the reason here is, is quite acceptable. So that's it for the uh, Newton Raphson method to solve the nonlinear equation. And thank you for watching. I see you guys in the next video.